Hello, dear friend. Uh, uh, I'm here again continuing the topic of uh, syncope, which is one of the most common uh, topic we may experience in our life. Uh, the purpose of this video is, is giving you some general uh, information, which I'm hoping it helps you uh, to manage uh, the topics that we are talking, uh, give you a better healthy lifestyle and safer life. Uh, we talked about uh, we talked about uh, syncope and we talked in details in two videos about uh, vasovagal syncope and now we talk about other etiology or reasons for syncope. Uh, one of the reason for the syncope is uh, epilepsy or seizure, which of course it goes to the neurologists, our uh, wonderful colleagues that they take care of the brain and nerves uh, diseases and uh, usually seizure accompanies that jerky movement in the hands, uh, legs uh, uh, and uh, basically uh, the, I leave the discussion about the seizure to my colleague, uh, expert in neurology. Uh, the other reason for the seizure is psychosomatic, means that there are healthy people that due to stress, anger, or uh, even if they don't feel those uh, psychogenic losing of consciousness briefly, and uh, that can be repetitive. Uh, the part that I want to put my time on that is uh, related to the heart, uh, either related to a structural heart disease or related to abnormal rhythm of the heart. Uh, we talked about abnormal rhythm of the heart in the prior videos uh, called arrhythmia and in general it could be either bradyarrhythmia or a slow heart rate or tachyarrhythmia or fast heart rate. Both of them they can cause syncope or lose of consciousness or loss of consciousness. The bradyarrhythmia is when the heart rate inappropriately it is significantly goes down either because the spark plug in the top of the heart doesn't make the electrical impulses the numbers that it does and generally should be 50 or more and it's lazy after many years of working and it doesn't make the enough heart rate and the heart rate goes down to 20 25 and sometimes there is a flat line for 6 10 15 seconds and of course during that time the heart is not pumping blood to the body including the brain and when the heart is not pumping blood and there is no blood goes to the brain what's going to happen we are going to gradually feel all oh, lightheaded dizzy and we are going to lose our consciousness boom falling and uh, hitting the floor and in majority of those cases the heart starts to beat up again and the perfusion happens and uh, we regain the consciousness but still we may feel weak and tired during activity we feel very tired and then of course what you need is going calling 911 or going to emergency department and uh, sometimes uh, if when you go there they find the problem sometimes they don't and it would be in our part that we do cardiac monitoring we have different type of cardiac monitor short term short term longer term and very long cardiac monitoring and we figure out if there is any bradyarrhythmia or a slow heart rate related to the syncope on the other hand on the opposite hand there is a tachyarrhythmia or fast rhythm from the heart which we talked about that in my other videos that you can listen and watch them uh, tachyarrhythmia either are from top chamber of the heart or bottom chamber of the heart and both they can cause syncope. The top chamber fast rhythm rarely they cause uh, syncope. The bottom chamber can they can cause syncope more often and they are very concerning and more dangerous and we may get cardiac arrest which unfortunately we don't come out of them and we don't make it and we are not going to be back in this life if that happens and of course there are solutions uh, there are uh, prevention we can do to prevent those events uh, but in general uh, cardiac syncope including abnormal rhythm or a structure of heart disease are not the major uh, part of the theology of syncope but there are those that they really need attention and of course uh, if there is syncope i recommend that you leave it to your expert physicians uh, to work up and make sure if that's the concerning and important one and needs any action to be done or if the benign one like vasovagal that we talked about that or overall reflex syncope that gen generally you need to do some uh, kind of uh, uh, prevention as possible for that. 
uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, there are a certain clue for possibility of syncope on the EKG, on the echocardiogram, if there is valvular heart disease, if there is a muscle of the heart is very thick called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, if there are inherited uh, cardiac diseases, genetic condition like ARVD, uh, CPVT, uh, Brugada, there are many other uh, uh, inherited uh, uh, cardiac diseases, long QT, that those are basically electrophysiologists who are the experts in, expert in electrical uh, system of the heart, like myself and my colleague. We can work them up and uh, figure out if any prevention action is needed to be done, any further workup is needed to be done. We would be happy to help you if there is any question, any concern. If yourself, any loved one has any problem, please feel free to call our office 949-774-7777, 949-774-7777. My cardiologist, heart specialist of Orange County. You take care of yourself. Have a, a healthy life, uh, uh, enjoy your life with your loved one, and the life is beautiful. Thank you.